Hey guys, Harmer Gun here today with the M plus M M10X. So this is a cool gun. I'll just show them clear here real quick. Uh, but really cool gun made in the States, came out a few years ago. Uh, this is now like Gen 2 or 2.5 or something like that. It's been refined a couple of times. Uh, but this is this particular model is the DMR version with an 18.6 inch barrel. This, this version was developed for the Canadian market so that it's considered non-restricted up here with a long barrel. Uh, but otherwise, it's essentially the same as your American gun, other than it has the DMR safety, which is a bit of a hot topic in Canada. There was some drama that went down with all that, but we're gonna we're gonna forget about that today. We're just gonna focus on the fact that this is a cool gun. We've got Zukov furniture. It shoots, folds. It shoots, folded. The DMR safety, though, geez, that'll get you. Oh, what did I do? Ah, oh, I didn't load. Well, that's just a pain in the butt. Let's go. There we go. Okay. All right. So. Safety on. Let's try this again. Fold that stock, which gets in the way of the drum, but nonetheless, just proving that the gun can fire folded. So that's that's that. Uh, really nice gun to shoot, and I'm sorry, that's I only had three rounds. You guys are gonna flame me for that pretty good, but this is Canada, and unfortunately, these bloody things have to be pinned, and drums don't like being pinned. They just don't seem to work as well, and I can only get three rounds in there. So that sucks, but uh, on in better news, I'm working on a media license that will allow me to likely ditch these pins. It'll be a media company, specially licensed. I'll be able to have a lot more cool stuff and get rid of some of these crazy red tape laws that just, you know, they don't need to be there. They don't do anything. So anyways, it's nice side charging, AK upper. Got a steel mag this time. Let's send five pieces of lead into that steel target. Oh, I hit it a couple times. <laughs> Usually my uh, KDG mount here is pretty good for holding zero from gun to gun, but uh, well, I don't know. Uh, again, this is a full monolithic upper, pretty slick, just a lot of uninterrupted rail space. It's a really rigid system, really rigid. It's, it's an aluminum extrusion with an inset steel receiver. That all comes onto this thing here, and then the whole thing just you know hinges open. It's got a pretty cool design. You know, I'm not gonna get into that right now. We're gonna have a separate disassembly reassembly video for you guys tomorrow and you can see that thing in action how this thing all comes apart and how she goes together got another steel mag for you here let's rip off another five rounds actually this uh, uh patented mag release lever i think it's mrl that's what they call it something that m plus m figured out this guy actually the guy that, that runs this thing that, that owns this company designs these guns he's from switzerland so it should be no surprise that he's got a Swiss gas system. He'd have probably had plenty of experience with the SG550 uh, in his day. So this this mag lever though, locks mags in really nice and snug and it's supposed to work with a ton of AK mags. So that's cool. Again, really satisfying gun to rack. That ambi, uh, ambi charging handle is nice as well. Let's see, I can't really, I gotta paint my target. I just can't see it anymore. Where's my next mag? Okay, now we've got a P mag. Again, these lock in really nice. And this gun, really low recoil. Check this out. It's just really nice, really nice and pleasant to shoot. It's not really jumpy. It's got a bit of a, a compensator slash flash hider muzzle device that comes with it from the factory. It is also threaded 5 8 by 24. So you can put your own stuff as well. And I'm told it suppresses pretty decently. Okay, cool. Now for the last, last mag here, let's adjust the gas system. This thing has an adjustable gas system. And uh, one time I came out here and shot, I think it was in, ooh, that's getting a little spicy. Okay, I think I had it in this position. And uh, okay, we've got our, do I want to finish with this mag? Oh, I guess we'll use it for now. RPK mag, so it's a 40 rounder. Again, five in Canada. But uh, let's see, last time I did this, I uh, I locked up, this is like the setting with no gas. I locked it up pretty good. Boom, okay, did it cycle? No, it did not cycle. And it is jammed in there pretty good. I'll pop the mag out. And uh, this is one slight beef I have. I'm not sure why it does this, but it's like really jammed in there. Okay, I got it out that time. That's a first. Previously, I've had to boot kick this thing to get those out. Um, I'm also told that this thing's accuracy is around the two MOA mark. 
um, but or 1.5 to 2 MOA is what the website claims and some other independent reviewers claim. Uh, I've had friends test the modern this model out here, and they've said not so great. Though it is going to depend on your ammo, it is. But M10N, M plus M, sorry, apparently claims it's capable of 0.7 MOA, which is astounding if it's true. That's right in line with literally the SG550 um, ammunition, ammunition shooting GP90. But man, that's that's a claim. But they do say that typical double step mags don't produce that result. You actually need to feed from a drum of all things because uh, it's a single feed and uh, or single load your ammunition. Uh, apparently to get those results and again with match grade ammunition and apparently m plus m is working on a single feed ak mag so that's kind of kind of cool anyways this thing is still locked up so i'm not gonna go so this is how i've had to deal with it before put it on the ground get my foot on that charging handle and just just give it a bit of a give it a bit of a boot and that's oh well shoot i got my charging handle i think I guess you probably shouldn't kick stuff so hard. Nah, I can take it. This is actually one gun I've been really impressed with. Um, this is a really just a run and gun system. This is a gun that I would I really want to do a thousand round review with because I think it can take it. Uh, yeah, I had that in the wrong way. I think it can take it. Um, it just feels solid. And it, actually another cool fact about this gun, it has less than half the parts of a standard AR-15. 49 parts compare that even with an AKM with 80 parts. This thing is like it's awesome That's hardly anything and it's just it feels like it feels like a rifle you can go to war with essentially It just feels like it's it's really durable really rock-solid and uh, Oh my gas is still off. Well shoot. I was gonna stop playing with that but nonetheless Boot it again we're Clear yeah we're Clear now. Let's put our gas back the way it's supposed to be and uh, I'll find which pocket I put my last mag in here and we'll dump another five so a little 20 rounder cute looks good with the 10 appointments there but that's uh that's it let's go and then we'll be done for the day Whoa, what did I do there what happened here okay I should have set my gas system correctly, but maybe I didn't. <sighs> no, I still didn't get that bloody case out. It locks up. I don't know why it locks up so much when you do that. It's out now. Okay, let's see what happened. No, I did something wrong. I didn't reset my gas properly. There, okay, now it's clicked in. It's, it's uh, well, in line with the barrel, I suppose. So we should be good to go now. Sorry for that. Let's uh, rip these last ones off and then we'll go warm up because it's getting chilly out here and I forgot my gloves. Safety. Boom, all right. That's it today, guys. We're clear. The M plus N M10X. I really like this gun. This gun is just a, this, is just a, this gun just works. So really impressed, excited to see what else I can do with this. I will do some independent accuracy testing as we go as well uh, when we return series two on this gun. So again, tomorrow, field strip and reassembly. I've talked about the gun a lot in this video, but I'll also do a formal overview going through all the features of it on a tabletop version. That'll be day four on this, or part four of this video series. Thanks a ton, guys. Arm and gun out. Well, I had a couple mags, a couple rounds left in this, uh, in this RPK mag. Let's just get it full of grossness and let's, uh, let's do this. Why not? Where's my target? And we're done. Only had two? I thought I had two. I guess I only had two. Anyways, cool gun. Catch you next time for realsies. JK LOL. Okay, so I forgot to mention um, my ejection pattern here. Look at this. It's all like a nice, you know, one to two o'clock position from the ejection port. It's all being spit literally, you know, I'm standing, I'm standing here. It's all right there. It's literally like six feet in front of me. So definitely a sign of a nicely tuned system. Most AKs are known for being over gassed to all heck, but that's partially, you know, you've got uh, adjustable gas block here too. I'm supposed to have more settings. I don't really explore anything other than just like off and on. But uh, anyways, um, just a cool fact. All right, bye.